What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B. You watch Dave B on TV where we go beyond the everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. And I was just thinking, I was just thinking, I was like, man, you know, about, you know, I made the video about, um, you know, stop taking the magic out of life, right? But then I'm thinking, like, damn, like, you know, oh, I forgot, I was like, oh, I forgot to talk about rituals and spells, you know, being like the things we do with our body type shit, right? Rituals and spells, and I was like, you know, it's crazy that you know, essentially, spell casting would be creating routines and patterns for yourself. And then I was like, routines and patterns, damn, that's like Virgo, ain't it? And I was like, man, he be calling that like, you know, the the the, the Virgo constellation, like, oh, that's like the maiden or something like that, man. Like, fuck that shit. I think that's the witch. I think, I think she was really a witch, man, because like think about it like you know and we all witches and wizards that's my point as in like saying like no like that is some supreme spell casting that the virgo energy holds you know what i'm saying that's the magic of virgo and then it being opposite pisces it's like like i always talk about the opposition of signs those energies share a common thread like virgos is just as magical as, as pisces like just as mystical you know because it's that it's that energy that you think you know but you do not know you know, it goes deep with those signs, you know, because where Pisces might be thinking about the collective, the the Virgo is experiencing the collective or like of service to the collective, working on the collective in, in the lifeblood. Like, you know, even Virgo playing out as the nervous system. That's 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 crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, just think about the nervous system and like just how that world would be. You know what I'm saying? If you was a blood cell, you was, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with the nervous system and just watching how that works. It's like a bunch of just connections that snap. You know what I'm saying? It, it's the same as the water. You know what I'm saying? When we talk about mutable water and, and the Pisces energy of just being in this, you know, vast pool. You know, these rainbow waters. These, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the same idea, but it's just a different way of going about it. And that's how oppositions play out a lot of times. Same, you know, similar idea, just way different ways of going about it. You know, Leo and Aquarius attention you know what i'm saying but one is trying to be one gets it through uniqueness you know and and and, and, and debate and intellectual um prowess and uh, the other one gets it through you know creativity and expression of, of feelings and, and what can be seen hey 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 nigga damn you, you, like just driving blind nigga, i'm coming around the mountain like you see me like, slow down but um real shit so um yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when we talk about Scorpio and, and, and uh, <laughs> Taurus, control, you know, but one is controlled through surface and material. One is controlled through manipulation and you didn't even know you was being controlled, you know what I'm saying? Feelings and shit like that, you know. One of them is, um, you know, it's, it's many different ones. Gemini and, uh, uh, Gemini and Sag, um, learning, you know, one through experience itself and one through analyzing and like getting you know still kind of like getting <laughs> i wanted to say like get jiggy with it for real like that's why I jim and, jim not energy give me like get jiggy with it vibes because it's like they get in and like talk to a couple people and get a couple ideas all of a sudden it's like they they know what's going on these niggas is in the middle of the road please man get your kids bro like, these little niggas but yeah yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, what's it? What's another one? We gonna go through them. Uh, Aries and Libra. You know, leadership. But one through, it's like one is leading by by being the one, and one is leading by like teamwork. You know what I'm saying? What you know what I'm saying? Because it's like Aries is important because it has to be the example. But Libra also is like it, it. It breaks it down to like partnership. Actually, you know what I'm saying? So. The removing the concept of like being the one or needing to be the one it's like willing to work but it be a leader but work with other people you know like aries is leader minded not even on purpose just because their energy is like oh i'm gonna do it first so they end up being a leader they get that responsibility before they even realize and they're again that energy doesn't do the best with uh responsibility because saturn falls there so it's like it becomes a conflict of interest but at the end of the day you know they they, they either rise to the occasion or again they, they kind of go off and just continue to do their own things either way they still kind of do their own thing anyway um 
we talk about Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and uh, Capricorn. You know, uh, security. You know, one of the one though is is an internal security. The other one is that uh, exter external pursuit of creating a circumstance that that is secure. You know what I'm saying? On, on a practical tip, like trying to build something. Um, and then yeah, yeah, Leo, and then we talked about yeah, Virgo and Pisces, Magic. I think that's all of them. Oh, so, yeah, that's all of them and shit like that. So yeah, we, you know, what I'm saying in, in the opposite signs, it'd be a lot of energies that kind of go back and forth. But what was the point of this? Video? Yeah, so just talking about Virgo and shit like that. So like, yeah, with Virgo, it's like witch. Like that's that's not no maiden. No, you thought it was a virgin. That's a witch. You know, what I'm saying she she doing magic because that's the thing about our life. You know, we we. Spell cast. Spell casting is when you set an intentional routine and pattern for yourself. Because anything you do with your body is, you know, what, what's on your mind is where the magic starts. That's where you plant the seed. That's the intention behind it. That's what's what's actually being like done. The the magic itself. But then the actual practice of the magic, the casting of the spell at a certain time when you know when you're doing it intentionally in the physical is you creating a routine and pattern for yourself. You doing something with your body that can ex that can bring this unimaginable thing to be real this thing that was in your imagination real you know that's what i really meant to say this imagination that you had that came from a space that no one else could see you made it visible based upon how you express through your body so you got to look at everything in life as in like think about the spells you cast the good ones for yourself and the bad ones aka the bad ones being ones that keep you distracted you know, even down to like, you know, you might have all these dreams and ideas, but you are stuck on social media. Now, I'm not demonizing social media like a lot of people will. People be like, oh, social technology is bad, da, 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 all these phones. It's like, look, it's here and you here, too. So you can bitch and complain and, and look at it like this or look at it like that. It's still here. The problem is how we go about doing it. Are you doing something intentional while you on it? Or even if the intention is to relax and enjoy yourself knowing exactly knowing that that's what you're doing is a better than just doing it mindlessly because you lose track of time you end up not getting to your goals like you should and it starts to become a distraction because it starts to become what you want to do see a lot of times people think they want to do a bunch of shit but that's not actually what they want to do so when it, the time comes to do it they always fall short you know, it's always going to take a little bit. Like, sometimes we don't be feeling like doing things that we have to do. So we have to muster up the strength and the willpower. But sometimes we very well have the willpower to do something. But we choose to do another thing that we're distracted by. Simply because deep down inside, we don't want to do it. Or the reason we want to do it is for the wrong intention. AKA, okay, you was hurt in a certain area. And now you're trying to prove a point. Even if it's to the world from a scar that happened way, way back when. When you was a baby, an infant. Or, you know, was, uh, not an infant. But you was a, you know you was a young child a lot of times we be carrying wounds from our young childhood that start to become you know that we hold as prominent things in our life like prominent things that are like character defining times in our lives you know but we don't realize that damn i've built a whole persona off of a trauma you know what i'm saying like and and, that, and that's really what this year is like bringing to the surface you know like we always have those buzzwords during years and this year's buzzword is trauma and like you know even shadow work you know but these things are being brought about right they might be surface level when these other people are talking about them but the real root of it is like look that's what's going on people are realizing damn i've been carrying trauma from an incident that i I've, a, a incident happened i i created a force field or something to protect myself this shield or this insecurity and i've developed a persona around it and now you think you are this insecurity so you you walk around like oh, i better position myself this way or i better position myself that way not realizing you just making life more complicated you making life more difficult because the spell that you're casting on yourself keeps you in that illusion and that's what that's the ironic thing of this whole of this whole situation you know what i'm saying because the irony is in looking at it like and realizing look you are putting you, you you casting a spell on yourself you keeping yourself in this illusion in this mirage in this you know and you're putting up a facade so we have to break that spell right break that spell cut through that and then 
the thing about being in that type of illusion, you are quick to cast spells on other people. And those spells be the ones that, again, are like mimicking what, the, what, the, what, what, what society is saying, mimicking what you've been told, mimicking what you're insecure about, what you're uncomfortable about. That, that's all you're mimicking. You're not even bringing nothing new or enlightening to the table that came from a space that you came from. If you were in that space, you wouldn't even care to cast spells on other people in that way. You would be casting good spells on, on people. You would only be around people that would be your soul group. And you would, be, or even if you're not, but you would majority be in situations where you got to deeply connect and shit like that. You'd be around your soul group. So the only spells you would want to cast is ones of prosperity amongst your own people. Uplifting your people. Like, nah, nah, even if it's criticism, wanting to actually genuinely improve, uh, help them improve, they, they craft. Like, yo, bro, like, nah, just do a couple of this, 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 that, and the third different. And the energy will be certain, something mutual where you won't even be wasting your breath. They'll hear, hear and receive what you're saying and actually have something to add to you, to offer to you. Maybe not at that time, but there'll always be a rep, rep, uh, reciprocation of energy that you can, again, this becomes currency. This this becomes your current event that you're living in. You know what I'm saying? In the current for your life. And now your life is flowing how it's supposed to flow. Well lubricated. You know what I'm saying? Well, where everything is moving smooth. Well lubricated. <laughs> so, so, that being said, but going back to what I was saying, yeah. So, yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? Just wanted to bring y'all along some thoughts I'll be having when I'm just on some random shit, but yeah, yeah, the Virgo is, a, is a, 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 ain't no maiden, it's a witch, you know what I'm saying, and, and routines and patterns become our spells, so we in Virgo season, take that and run with it wherever you want, you know what I'm saying, because that's the th that's where we at right now, so when it comes to the routines and patterns in your life, start to incorporate more of that cast spells of your prosperity, cast spells of you manifesting, you know, and that's the only way you're going to manifest, you have to cast the spell though, but casting the spell is more than the, the imagination, the spell, the ritual in spell it's in the action. It's in the routine. It's in the pattern. It's in you actually carrying out these uh the the traits of what it is that you trying to manifest. So you have to be that thing. You have to be in that current space to bring those experiences towards you, to bring those manifestations to 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 come to be in your in your reality. You know what I'm saying? Because it, you start to become aware of it because you're in the space of it you start to look and smell like it you attract more of it and you can spot it because it starts to become so apparent because you you've created the muscle memory of what it is that you actually want and what it in beyond what you want you've become what it is that you are imagining so make sure it's a good imagination but anyway much love and i'll catch you on the next one peace